Hi, my name is Vinay Joseph, and today we are going to look at how IDLE can facilitate natural language question and answering. We have a website containing a list of seven FAQs. What we're going to do is we're going to ingest the content on this website using our web connector, and then we are going to curate each of these seven FAQs into the answer bank, which is a component within the answer server, so that when a user searches for one of these questions, they will get the answer that they need. We're going to do that using our ingestion pipeline. The data administration UI is a UI for managing these FAQs. As you can see, we have ingested the FAQs from the web page and we have bought them into the data admin. I can go into a particular FAQ and I can edit the question or the answer and the rule configuration is configured in such a way that the answer server will learn the rule from equivalent questions that we will manually be matching to the original question. In this instance, how does chatbot works? So with that, let's go ahead and see how this would work in a real life search scenario. So you can see I have the find user interface here. And within this user interface, I'm going to go and ask a simple question at the text box here. How does chatbot work in idle? As you can see in the search results page, I get the answer that I'm looking for, which is above the organic search result in this case being the web page that we've ingested into IDLE's index using our web connector. Now let's go ahead and ask this question using a different variation. So rather than asking how does chatbots work in IDLE, a user might decide to ask it in a different way. For example, does IDLE have chatbot cap? Ability. Now you see when I ask that question, I don't get any results back. What we've done is we've created a feedback mechanism so that we can capture within the data admin that a user has asked a particular question and that question doesn't have the answer. So within data admin, when I go to the incoming questions queue, you can see that I have captured that question in the incoming question queue. So as an administrator, I know that this is a question that needs an answer, so I will send it to the answerable questions queue, and then I will proceed to answer that question. So within the answerable question queue, you can see that the likelihood of the answer for this particular question is low. Let's bear in mind that this is the first question that we have captured without an answer. So when I go and click on that particular question, I won't find any conceptual questions that match at this point, but when I select all the questions that I want to manually assign this question to and filter by the chatbot, I can then assign this question, does IDLE have chatbot capability as an equivalent question for the original question, how do chatbots work in IDLE? And when I click move to answer bank, what we will see then is the question appearing within the answer bank. I'm now at the answer bank and you can see that the equivalent question has gone from zero to one. So when I open the question, how do chatbots work in idle? You can see that now we are going to modify the rule based on the equivalent question that we have manually tagged against the original question. So when I go back to find and I rerun the search, you can see we are providing the answer for the original question. Now let's go ahead and ask the question in a third different way, which is different from the previous two methods that we have used. So I'm gonna ask the question as, how does conversational search work in idle? Now I'm getting the document which has been indexed into the web connector back, but I'm not getting the answer that I'm looking for for this particular question. As we know, we've already seen the feedback mechanism so when we go back to the incoming question queue, that question is again captured within the incoming question queue. So as an admin, I'm going to follow the same process and I'm going to move it to the answerable questions queue. And within that queue, you can see 
the likelihood of the answer now has increased from low to medium. So when I click on the question, you can see that IDLE has conceptually mapped that question to the equivalent question, how does chatbot work? So as a user, I can now decide to create the match and move it forward. So I'm going to select that question. I'm going to select the original question and I'm going to click move to answer bank. Now within the answer bank, you can see we have two equivalent questions for the same question, how does chatbots work? And you can see that we are capturing that second equivalent question and the rules are now going to be modified further. So if I go back to find and run the search, you can see how we are now capturing various alternative approaches to asking the same question to the right answer. This is an example of how natural language question and answering works within IDLE. And we are using the find user interface, the data admin user interface, and the answer bank component of IDLE. Thank you.